Okay, this is gonna be super short because I gotta get inside the office and get some work done, but I wanted to do, once again, the hopes up video. I've done this before, I'm gonna do it again. Periodically, I'm gonna say this. I'm giving a shout out to all those people out there, especially women, women or people with vaginas who do what I tried to do when I was going through a lot of the stuff I went through, like the miscarriages, about not getting your hopes up. I hear it all the time. I heard it yesterday twice. The whole, well, I'm hoping for something, but like, I'm just not going to get my hopes up because I just, I don't want to be disappointed. And here's the thing, people, your hopes are up. So rather than not getting your hopes up, infuse your situation with positivity. Not fake positivity, but you might as well focus on what you want to happen because your hopes are up. Life is about your hopes being up. So don't fool yourself. Don't think, well, if I don't get my hopes up, then when that thing that I want to happen doesn't happen, I won't be disappointed because that's bullshit. Your hopes are up. Life is all about our hopes being up. And honestly, like, if you don't get your hopes up every single time you want something good to happen or you're hoping that the bad thing won't happen, then what's it going to be all about, right? And I know that sounds corny, but I say this all the time, especially in the realm, for example, in my case, it was about all the multiple miscarriages. Every time I'd get pregnant, I think I'm just not going to get my hopes up. I'm just going to wait until 12 weeks and then, then I'll attach myself. And Lord, that was dumb. I mean, I was attached. If you've ever been pregnant, you know, like the second the pee hits the stick, you're like, oh my God, it's positive. Oh my God. And your hopes are up. So I say this to all of you out there, whether you are hoping that you don't have a miscarriage, whether you are waiting for a biopsy result, whether you are a young person waiting for that like acceptance letter to a school or that job acceptance, your hopes are up. So you either have the choice of lying there in fear and sadness and pretending to quell your ability to be excited about something, or you have the choice of infusing as much optimism and positivity as you can in that moment. There's nothing wrong with it. I jokingly say it's fake, but it's not fake in fact. It will change, whether or not it changes the outcome, it will change your body's response, your emotions in that moment, your happiness until you get the answer. And yes, the answer might end up being that you have that miscarriage, that you don't get that job, that your biopsy comes back with cancer. But during that time that you were waiting, you will have felt better. And there's nothing wrong with that. That is not cheating your emotions. That is not tamping down the reality. That is not living in a world that is not genuine. That is merely, to me, smart brain power. Okay? So your hopes are up. That's it. Have a good day.